right here. So today's project is going to be an easy one, especially for those of you that have done all the projects so far. In your packet, you'll find a uh, one packet of straws. I think there's 16. Um, you'll have one uh, piece of paper that looks like this. You'll have one piece of paper that has a masjid drawn on it, as well as a colorful piece of paper. It could be anything. Um, here's going to be this one, and a solid piece of paper. For today's project, you're going to need some liquid glue. Um, glue stick will not work. So if you really do need to have liquid glue and uh, a pair of scissors. A pencil can be helpful, but mainly you need a piece of paper. Okay. So what we're making today is um, the last couple of weeks we made things to decorate our houses. Today we're going to be making a masjid. So you see I decorated mine a bit, but um, we've got the masjid shape is made all out of straws and then we're going to made, make accents, doors and windows in the dome. Um, all will be made out of your colorful paper. Then I went ahead a little further and I added grass and flowers, I added a sun and some clouds. So that's all for afterwards. Okay, so let's start. This is going to be your guide on how much you cut. So this, uh, if you'll take one straw and line it up along the bottom, you'll see that it's basically, it's exactly half the width of your straw. So if you line that up, then you can go ahead and just make a cut on your straw and that'll be right in half. And now you have two pieces and you'll see, see they're exactly the right size, just like that. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and do that with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with eight straws. And you can use all different colors. I did um, the one I had, some of you will have, red straws seem to be few in numbers. So some of you might not have any red, but you most likely have all the other colors. Um, I just did them random um, in different colors. You're not gonna see a lot of colors, so it doesn't really matter. Um, some green, some red, some yellow, some blue. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut. I think can you do that? Find the middle part, lay your straw down. So you find where you're supposed to cut and just cut the end right at that edge. Okay. Or you can take one straw, fold it in half and cut that part. That's a little harder because it's hard to cut to fold straws. So just lay it along here. That'll give you the size and make one cut right there. Okay, so now I'm, um, when you're done with that, you should end up with 16 little pieces. So right now I've got four. I'll keep doing it for each one. Just line it up. And oh, can scissors. No, just watch, watch what I'm doing. You can do the same thing. Okay, take the straw, look. Line it up along there. And then just find that spot at the end and just cut it right there. One, two, three four, five, six, and there's, and once you get one, it's really easy to use that as a guide for the others. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I already have my, I cut four green straws, so I have eight green pieces, and now I'm going to do the same thing with my yellows. Line it up, measure that spot. Now ignore the windows and the doors right now. You're just looking at the bottom part. So you're just trying to get the width. And again, we're um, if you look at the project that I completed, we're basically just creating this box right here. So it's a rectangle that will be 16 straws tall and a, roughly the same size. If they're not, it's no big deal. It's perfectly fine. Okay, so do you have all yours cut? Okay. And I think I need one more. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I'm gonna do. So you're taking a total of eight straws, cutting them right in half. So, so you have 16 smaller straw pieces. Okay, just put them aside as you get them cut. Okay, I'm gonna wait now for everybody to catch up, but this is, so you'll have your 16 little straw pieces. You'll end up with four straws left over. You're gonna, do, you're gonna do it by yourself. Can you help me? No, you're gonna do it by yourself. You can do it. 
Okay, just line up. Okay, so you've got, uh, you take eight individual straws, cut them in each in half using this as a guide. And now you'll see that I have right here, I did eight green, I did eight yellow. I have 16 little straw pieces and it'll fill that whole space up. It's okay um, if you, you know, there you're gonna have the part, the bendy part. That's the only kind of straws I could find. It's no big deal. Don't worry about them. Um, it actually makes kind of an interesting look. If you want to line them up and make a pattern with them, feel free. Okay, I work, I'm letting, waiting for everybody to catch up. Even in my house, we're catching up and getting the straws all cut. Well, while I'm sitting here, I'm lining them up the way I want. One, I'm going to do every other one is a different color. But you can do anything. It does not matter. It doesn't look, you really can't tell once they're all together. So don't worry about that at all. How are we doing on cutting of them? You got it? How many of you cut, sweetie? Okay, so he's got six. So we'll wait for everybody to catch up. So how many more do I need? You need to cut eight straws total, so you have sixteen pieces. Eight. So I'm gonna make eight more. Yes. Keep going. You eight. you only have three. You only have six pieces. You need ten more, which means you need to cut up ten uh, five straws to get ten more pieces. How did you only use green and yellow? Because that's what my set had. My set didn't have any red and because they, you know, they're just straws. Whatever comes in the box is what comes in the box. Okay, so we're doing still doing some cutting over here. Line it up, cut it in half. And when you have 16, then you know you're good. Oh, you have a whole bunch of them. Let's see how many you have. You have two. Four, six, eight, 12. Okay, there you go. Thirteen. How do you have thirteen? Did you drop one? Two, four. Are you holding it in your hand? Maybe. Okay, we'll see. Thirteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Oh, there you go. Fourteen. Okay, so you need four more. Four. No, sorry, two more. You then you're ready. Four, six, eight, yes, ten, twelve, thirteen. Two, okay, four, so six, two. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay, you got yours all done. You got but yours I've all got cut? two. I've got another one too. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what you need. Okay. I got so now seven. we're going to take our solid piece of paper and you're gonna, this is where you're going to glue the straws onto. So um, since they're all exactly the same height, it doesn't matter where you put it on your paper. Let's see, if you'll look at mine, I just left a couple of inches. It doesn't matter where you start. So we're just going to start by you put a generous amount of glue. So generous means you put a lot of glue. It's going to take quite a bit of glue, but you just glue it all down on one straw. Roughly find where you want to start and glue it down. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It doesn't matter if it's square, but just put a lot of glue because they will not stay if you don't put lots of glue. I'm going to go ahead and start doing them because uh, obviously I can go faster. I've done it before, but I'm just going to put lots of glue and then just start sticking them down. So here's, um, here's and this is just on your solid piece of paper. You'll have one solid and one print. Now, if you want to swap it and do your your print on the bottom and then the, the, the mustard um, domes and windows in solid, that's fine too. You can do it whatever way you want. Okay, so take your, uh, take your solid piece of paper. You're, you have a yellow one and start, just start by gluing one straw right down somewhere on the paper. It's not good. Okay. Do you have one more glue? Yeah. All right, technical difficulties, you gotta start, here you go. Okay, so I'm just, and then just keep going until just you have all 16 doing, down. Just keep on doing this? Yeah, on your paper. Um, no, but, um, on so the paper or on the straws? You can do it either way. You can uh, put the glue on the paper directly and then the straw on the glue, or you can put the glue on the straw and then stick it down. Um, it it uh, doesn't matter. And you can always add more glue if you need once you get it down. Now, they aren't perfect because they are straws, so you're going to probably look like press a little bit. 
like this one does not want to stick down so i'm just going to roll it over and get it where the more flat side is there try to keep them lined up but if you don't not a big deal only perfect in this world is a law so everything else is fine so i'm just going to keep going till i get all 16 down just uh they're going to be one nice little rectangle when you're all done you can put gaps in it if you want. It's not a problem. This is your individual artwork. Okay. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the Muslim Space Weekend projects. I know I have enjoyed them. I've actually done all of them even when I'm not teaching. I've been doing the other projects too. Okay. Good job, sweetie. Okay, put the next one. I knew it. No, see, look at mine. So you're gonna make a big rectangle. So put one on top of the other. I started from that one. That's perfect. Not from the white one. Any way you do it is perfectly fine. And he says doing one line of glue at a time. That's fine. I'm doing a couple at a time. Um, that's also fine. Just like I said, put a generous amount of glue. A little bit will not hold the straws. And then when we're done with this square, we'll do start working on the next part. Okay, so you can see my paper. I've got. 16 straws glued down somewhere on the paper. They're not perfect. They're a little bit off left and right. I don't really mind. Okay, there we go. All right, so I got that part done. So I'm gonna wait for everybody to catch up. Squeeze them together, honey. Hey, mister, look at this. Uh, what? Watch, you can kind of roll them and then the glue will move around and then you can just stick them all right next to each other. A little bit of a messy project, but that's, we can just wash our hands when we're done. Okay, once you, um, I'll go ahead and tell the next part, we can come back to it in a minute. Once you're done with that part, the next cut is going to be right here. So if you look at your diagram, let me mark which parts are straws. Here's your mustard diagram. This part is all straws, and then these two and this, not any of the rounded parts. So next I'm going to cut this. Same idea. I'm going to take one straw. I'll move my project aside. Take one straw, lay it down, mark where that is, and then just make a cut. So you're going to need a total of six sections that are this size. So out of one straw, I'm going to get one. Two. Oops, that my straw went flying. Hang on. And then the last piece, oh, I seem to be a little bit short. Okay, so it looks like my measurements somehow got off by a little bit. Apologies, but I will use that top one, the little extra piece right there. So I'll use that one at the top. So that's what it's going to look like. So the one straw, um, this, wait, do I have? Oh, no, I have plenty. Sorry. This is your extra. That one we didn't need. Okay, so I'll take this over here and do the same thing on this side. Take one straw, lay it down. I thought I'd given you extra, so I was very confused. One. Two. Now, if you want to mix up your colors, feel free, of course. Right here. So, again, out of this side, I got three. I cut one straw into three pieces. That will be this size each. One straw into three pieces. I end up with two little leftover pieces. These aren't important at all. You don't have to worry about those. 
And then I'll use the last straw to cut these two that I need right here for the sideways ones. Same idea, lay it down, kind of measure it out, and then cut your piece. Lay it down, measure it. So you should end up, um, you should most likely have one completely extra straw, and then you've got one that's gonna have like two, two thirds of it will be left over. Okay, so again, let's see. Once you've got this part glued down, the first square. No, you. Okay, you have plenty of glue on your paper. So slide it this way and I'll show you what to do. Bring it over here. So hang on once. All right, so these, you have plenty of glue on the paper. So just go ahead and, this and move it around like this. See, now you can just start squishing them all. Glue all your, glue all these down like this, okay? You can go super fast, okay? Just stick them all down. How are you doing, Isa? Okay, so over here we've got, um, yeah, now uh, one thing that Anissa almost did and will caution you, you can if you want, of course, but um, don't glue them down to your template. This is just a template just so you knew what size to make them. So I've got my, the stick parts done. And so this is the minarets. So this is the part of the masjid where the imam or the muezzin would actually go into the tower to call for prayer. So I'm cut six of these smaller pieces that are this size. And the way to put them onto your masjid page is line them up at the end. So see, I'm gonna first line them up and just show you. So I just lined them up right at the end and there we go. So these are not glued down yet, but I'm just showing you. So then I'll do the same thing on this other side. Scissors out of the way. Line these up on this end. Three of them, line them up kind of lined up with the end of the masjid on either side. And you can see the shape starting to come together. And you can like, cut the, pull this back over so you can reference. So it's right here, right at the end of the rectangle is where these three are gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down. Did you get all 16? I think you have one. Okay, do you have a question? Yeah. No. Uh, Adela, do you think you could go back? I'm sorry, we're a little uh, behind on the masjid where to cut again after you glue all the straws. Okay, so this the first uh, the first you're going to do eight straws are going to make up this card. So you take one straw, line it up, and basically cut it right here. Yeah, and we did that. Yeah. So you have eight straws for this part. The next yeah. one is turn it sideways and take one straw, line it up right here, just this part. Okay. And then do uh, one cut right there. One straw is enough to make three uh, of these pieces. So that's where I got end up with these three little pieces. See? One, two, three. Just like that. So just line up one straw, mark it or whatever. If you would scissors or pencil or your, even your finger, just make one cut right there. Then do it again with the leftover portion and the leftover portion. So you end up with three straw pieces that are the, the size of the minaret. If they're shorter, it's not a big deal. Thank you. Of course. And then when you're ready to glue those down, glue them down um, off, so they're perpendicular to the other ones. They're standing up where these are laying down and right at the end of the mustard. So I'm ready to glue these down Adam, did you cut the next ones? Okay, take your take your diagram and cut this size now. And here we go. Again, put lots of glue. They won't stay if you don't put lots of glue. Okay, so I got there's those three. I'm gonna stick those three on right there. And the glue will dry clear, so it's fine that it sticks out. And you can always just color on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, make a little square, fill it with glue, and I'll put these three down on that side. Wait, can you, wait, you just cut up one straw? You can just cut up one, there's plenty. One straw for each side is plenty. If you wanna do different colors, you, um, that's why you have an extra straw. And then just kind of press them down. So I've got, now this is the shape I have right now. I have one rectangle of 18, Straw, 16 straws tall, 16 half straws, and two smaller rectangles, which each have 
they're um, three straw, one straw cut into three portions tall. So I've got those glued down. You also um, will cut, take the last portions that you have and cut one piece that's this size. That's the sideways piece right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then just glue that across the same thing, across the top of the three that you just did. Once you have this cut like that, you have two of those portions and you're going to glue that right there. Okay, do you have that, Adam? Do you cut your pieces? That's your extra? Okay, that's fine. Well, you're gonna have two extras. See, here's my extra sitting right here. So, you know. I'm gonna do one more strip. Sure, do whatever colors you want. Pull it down a little bit. Just make sure that they wanna be all the, kind of the same size. And then um, my example is right here. And this is the one I'm working on. So then I'm just put glue that one down too. So we have one piece of glue that way. And strip of glue that way. See, they're kind of sliding off right there. That one needed a little bit more glue. Let me go stick some more underneath there. Okay. Since it's still really wet, it's easy to move them around. And I have lost the other piece I cut. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is the end of the straw portion. Once you get to this point, See my, um, my example? All right, so we have this shape when you're ready. So we got uh, 16 straws tall, three straw minaret, three straws, one straw across, one straw across. Okay, so now the last part that we're going to do is we actually gonna create the windows and the windows, the doors and the domes. So in your packet, you also had one piece of colored paper. It could be anything. I think they were random colors that we gave everybody. Um, here's like one example and a little template. This is what the template looks like. This is the size of the, the things you're gonna cut. So you can actually just lay them down on your paper, use this as a pattern and cut those out, or you can trace over it, or you can do the, uh, make it, if you want more complicated, you can actually first cut these out and use them as a pattern. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out as a, use them as a, a pattern. So there, let me show you what these are. This big one right here is the dome in the middle. The next one is the front door. And then you have some smaller ones, which are the windows on the masjid. And then two tiny ones, which are these two domes at the very top. Now, if you, um, you know, you don't, you have more paper than you need. So if you have another family member that has a color that you like instead of the paper you have, feel free to trade if it's okay with them or just share. So here, wait. so this one, like I cut out the, the uh, pattern like that. There's some pattern pieces. So I'm gonna, then I'm gonna take, this is where I'm gonna take my, I did cut them out as a pattern. You don't have to, you can do them all at the same time, but I put them as a pattern and then I can uh, trace it, or if you can hold it, that's uh, that's your choice too. I'm going to trace it, make it easier. Just take a pencil, mark around it. You won't need these little pieces of paper if you use them as a template, so feel free to draw on them. You can use the white if, and, and for your dome instead if you'd like. So here's my first dome. And then once you trace them, just cut them out. So see, there's my very first one. Now this is gonna be the big one, so that's gonna go right in the middle. That's why I said earlier, if you get some extra glue on it, don't worry about it because it's gonna get covered up anyway. I left a little line of glue uh, that's extra. And so um, that's just where that's gonna end up. And that's perfectly fine because it'll cover it all up. The next one uh, on the template was this size. This one is my front door, see right there? Um, this example is my front door. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut this out of my printed paper. And uh, if you want to share with your sibling or somebody and you can want to mix it up and do some of them in some colors and some in another color, that's fine too. I might do that myself. I trace this door and I'm going to cut that one out as well. What you're doing is just using your colored piece of paper 
and cutting these shapes out. So nowadays people don't go, usually go up to the uh, minarets to recite prayer, to recite the azan. They usually just have it on a speakerphone. But that's what they used to do because somebody would have to climb up high so that everybody could hear the call to prayer. Does anybody know where that where that started? The, no, the call to prayer. Where? Why did they start the call to prayer? So people pray and wake up. Yes, because the prophet wanted to make sure that people were waking up and gathering. So in a dream, do you remember who it was? Mm -hmm. Guys, do you remember, Nisa? Mm -hmm. Who had a dream that had the words of the prayer? Mm -hmm. You forgot already? And then who was the first person who was the first person who actually recited the prayer, the call to prayer? Bilal. Bilal got the honor of being the first person to recite the Adhan. Okay, so um, I now going to go ahead and glue them down. Um, the door just goes somewhere along the bottom. Ah! Are you okay? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just thought I thought you'd let her. Okay. So um, you can glue it down here. Masjids don't always have the door right in the middle. So if you want to put it on the side and put the window somewhere else, it's your masjid. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and glue it the way that I had designed it, which is going to look like this pattern that I gave you. So can you help them out? Do you mind helping them out? So I'm going to go ahead and glue down the door and then glue down the two windows and the three domes. A lot of, uh, it's going to take a lot of glue because it's on a curved okay. surface. Your straws are all curved, so you're going to need a lot of glue to stick down that paper on top. And put them anywhere that makes you happy. They don't have to line up, they can just be wherever. Okay. And then glue down your three domes. Since I had some glue already on the paper, it kind of stuck already, but I'm going to put it down a little bit more. Often, masjids have a little tiny crescent on the top. Actually, it's not really that tiny, but it looks tiny from where we are. So I drew those into my masjid shape, and you are welcome to do so as well. We have two brand new masjids um, that just finished in Austin. And once we have a chance to go visit those, you'll be able to see those crescents at the top. It's nice to see them when you go places and from far away, you can tell that that is a masjid. Okay, so I'm gluing down my three domes and two windows and one door. Just kind of line that up right in the middle above there. There we go. And if you find that any of the straws start popping off, they probably just need a little bit more glue. And so you just pick it off and Put some more glue underneath. All right, so I've got mine glued down. Now the, um, and it's okay, take your time. You don't have to catch up with me. Now, afterwards, you can just take a marker, um, any color will do, and just draw a little crescent on top if you'd like. And just draw a little crescent on top of each of these. Let me move that over. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, you did not get anything on to I did not mean to. So I'm going to draw three little crescents. So just draw a circle, kind of partial circle, and then fill it in. There's a little crescent, and then I'll attach it to each of my domes with a stick. And I'm going to put one here, too. And that is today's project. Now, you can decorate it. I went back and added some, I added a sun and I added a cloud and I added some birds, which my kids don't think look like birds. I added some grass, which Anissa has decided looks like scribbles. And I added some flowers, but you can do whatever you want. I'm telling everybody what you said about my work. But here, if I just want to put like, here's a little bit of grass, just color that with a marker. Now, when it's going, once you're complete, once you've done all this work, they're going to want to pop up because it's a round object on a, on a flat surface. So what I would suggest 
is put a heavy book on top of it and let it dry like that. It probably needs a couple of hours to dry and that would keep it from popping up. And that is your masjid. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope that you had a good time today and inshallah, we will see you very, very soon. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>